this year, uh, we have Monarch High, Coconut Creek High, Lions Creek Middle, and North Briar Preparatory School participating in the student art, art show this year. And uh, some of the artwork that we have displayed this year is with a tropical theme, which came from the mayor, Lisa Aronson. And uh, a lot of it is really, really good stuff that we usually get every year. Well, I have one with a lighthouse in it, and I grew up in Long Beach Island, New Jersey, so I took a picture that I had from from when I lived in New Jersey, and I painted it because it, it meant a lot to me. Well, Miss Sachs wanted us to do a transition type of piece where we slide it over, but I decided to do a rotation where everything rotates, and then she said, pick two colors, and I didn't really have two colors to pick from, so I decided to pick black and white and I decided to pick colored women, so females. What I initially did was um, I took a picture of a flower, I drew it, and then I cut it up into four sections, and I kind of gave the picture some insight about my life, like each different part of the flower is like a part of me. Like the colorful part is the happy part of me, the shaded part is the part of me that I kind of like, the sensitive part of me that I hide away from everyone, and then the part in Sharpie is the simple, plain side of me that just loves life. Well, I think it's great. I think there's a lot of talent here in this room. And, uh, you know, the diversity and the, uh, the types of drawing, the subject matter takes me back when I, when I did this kind of thing, so. But I think it's very impressive. Well, um, in class, we took pictures on our teacher's computer, and then she printed them for us. And then first we sketched out the shapes with the pencil, and then we shaded using crayons to make it colorful. And we used all different colors, and um, we used the darker colors for the shaded areas and lighter colors for the lighter areas. It's golden blue pictures, and it's fashion. It's a girl. You see her around, and then it's gold. See the gold? And it's dark blue, and you see her shoe. And the colors clash together. It's about like shading from dark dark to light or light to dark, depending on the like the format or the geographics of like the picture. So in like the ocean, you go from like light to dark as like you would see it, and it was just placed on pick a scene from anywhere in like the world and shade it the way you'd like it to be. I think it's really nice. I think it's a really good thing for the kids in general. And I recently found out my son has a pretty good talent at it. So as our teacher says, so um, we're pretty excited that uh, he was put up and with honorable mention. So it's a good thing. Okay, so we basically took a picture of me and then separated it into squares and we got to choose what, which square would be colored pencil and which would be graphite and we just sketched out our picture. Well, when I thought about this artwork, actually I was pretty sleepy in the class, so I was thinking about nighttime. And so I thought I would draw my flower, you know, resting in the night. So I drew the theme of the nighttime with the dark and all the stars and a little bit of the red just for like the sunset going down on the side a little bit. And all the little blue in there is just a little addition to make it a little pop a little better. And yeah. I thought it was pretty cool. I think it's really neat the city the city uh, promotes children, high school kids to um, to promote artwork and and art you know basically reflects the society and how we value the things that that they normally don't value in, in other countries. I mean, and art reflects how people think, how people uh, reflects their lifestyle. So this kind of encourages my son to express himself, and I think it's very important in our society especially at times like, you know, hard times like this, that they can still express themselves and, and appreciate what the creativity that God's given to them. So I think it's neat.